Mickey Young is an intense perfectionist in anything that he does. I've been around since Silver Lining Herbs has, has began. He had a testimony of the herbs and what they can do for the horses and, and the dogs. Mick would have to stop what he was doing and drive six miles into town to make up some kind of a mix. He got to where he was having to do that a lot. Well, shortly after that, we moved to Buell and we set up a room downstairs. I was cleaning houses at the time and I would leave in the morning and I'd come home and he'd have these little sticky notes posted up on the wall of all these orders. And when I got home from work, I would go out and, and mix up the, the combinations and, and send them out. Well, one day I come home and the whole wall was full of all these little sticky notes with all these orders on it. And I said, oh my gosh, how am I ever gonna get through all these orders? So it was right there when we decided we actually have a business here. I mean, I would come home from school and we'd do our work and stuff. And as soon as the sun went down, my dad would stay up most of the night just learning more. It wasn't long after that that we had to build a big facility in town, and that's where we're at right now. I've seen everything that they went through. I mean, people saying, calling BS on the product, and, and uh, you know, it's, it's witchcraft you know, <laughs> voodoo stuff and... When he first started this company, nobody, nobody would listen to him. I mean, it was like he'd go and talk places and, you know, he'd maybe have two or three people there because nobody believed that herbs helped horses. Back then, you really had to sell people on the idea. Finally, he had quite a few believers. He just, you know, he knows what he believes in and he's not ashamed to, to share that with people. You know, it just kind of snowballed. Once one person got a testimony of it and seen what they could do with their horses and, you know, you got that one person that um, has tried everything and once again doesn't want to give up on their horse. So they, they gave my dad a shot and, you know, just one story after another, finally, you know, people started catching on.